Hi everybody and welcome back to my shop. This is the second video about the construction of my flexible camera arm. We continue with producing the metal parts and we will finish the assembling. To machine the clamping parts I buy 12mm thick plates. The plates are made out of ALMG3, an aluminum alloy with magnesium. It's a sturdy material that I can cut with a special kind of saw blade on my table saw. Some measurements and a little bit of work with the center punch and we can start a machining. After the complex parts are finished, I cut the M8 threaded rod to different lengths and make some spaces from an aluminum pipe that fits around that rod. I clean everything, remove the burr and grate the standard hardware. Everything is ready for assembling, so let's bring all this stuff together. Preparing the threaded rods with one lock nut by using my mesh voice makes the assembly more comfortable.
balance the camera, I use a spring with approximately 300 newton at the base of the arm and one with 250 newton on the upper side. For easy assembling, I use a turnbuckle to mount the springs to the arm. To improve the stability of my wall mount, I changed the design of the clamping mechanism. The new design pushes a massive aluminum block against the lower side of the rail. The threaded insert in the body of my camera is 1 quarter inch UNC. Because I have no lathe, I improvise an adapter by gluing the threaded part of an old tripod into an M8 threaded rod. After some adjustments and corrections, the arm works pretty well. At the end of the project, I give the whole arm two coats of a green varnish. If you want to build your own camera arm, check out the video description, there is a link to a set of building plans. Thanks for watching.